There's an old saying that when spiders come out to make their webs, that means fair weather for a while. Now this is better than any app as a sign of good weather. All of these little saplings, so thick that you can't really see through, they're all birch saplings. So this is our little forest, birch forest by our house. checking the trunk for knots or branches because I want to get a, a large piece of bark well as large as possible for making different things now with my tool I think I showed you before and pry this open slowly you see how the shape of the blade helps to you know contour the tree or hug the tree as you can see here it's not a straight blade it's not like that it goes around so I shaped it like this on purpose so it gives me a nice like if it was my hand basically I prefer to use this tool than my hand because it's a lot thinner works better for me see that this is stuck here now and the trick is just to take your time that's why a perfectly round tree it's a bit easier than one that has a concave in it like this one to see there got it now it's just a nudge there we go it's a nice sheet too bad unfortunately got a rip here if I wanted I could sew this up with some Bruce spruce Bruce spruce <laughs> with some spruce roots I'm tired and put some pine resin glue but this is a beautiful piece of bark and I'm gonna be able to make a lot of things with it
A while back I bought this uh, crooked knife from Mora for carving some spoons but I would like to try and make one with a with a more pronounced curve I've made this crooked knife here's the sheath I don't think I feel myself making this I didn't have any proper strings I used cotton but I used a I waxed the cotton first and then I stitched it up and I, I think I totally forgot to film this I did film making uh, the blade but not the handle I just put a provisional handle and then I changed to this one which is a lot more ergonomic for my hand Gonna use an old file to make the blade.
Let's have a look. Yeah, that's glowing red hot. I don't know if you can see it. Inferno. This fits perfectly in my hand. Very comfortable. I've shaped the end a little bit different from the mora. The mora is completely square and flat here. And sometimes I get a little stuck on this corner when I'm carving. So I wanted to try something different. So I made a round curve here. A round curve, well, all curves are round. <coughs> anyway, I made a little curve here on the edge so it would have a better cutting continuity to the cut, you know? Instead of getting stuck on 
a little corner because sometimes that's what happens when I'm cutting something this little corner head hits a spot and it gets stuck so I'm betting that this will be a little bit better but we'll see a test will tell I also made the angle of the knife a little bit steeper the curve not the angle sorry and also in a way it's easier to sharpen it with the stone it doesn't get stuck you can do it backwards from the edge I do it both ways and then as if you're scraping the blade I mean the, the stone that's pretty sharp already done for now now all it needs is a little oil and it looks a little chunky but it fits my hand perfectly I've got big hands and I'll change it if I need it after but right now this feels good You can even see the purples.
Apron. Apron, ja. Mm. Den sticker upp lite där. Ja, men det gör <laughs> Kan dra ner den lite. Så. Mattias, din fegis kom. Nej, men jag ska titta på dig. Ja, men jag har ju väntat på dig hela dagen. Ja. Det är lite bara hur man gör. Det är inte mitt tar... Ja, vad roligt. Ja, det är jätteintressant. Det är det här med att skrapa bort det här fett och kött. Mm. Det är senare. Nej, inte sen, men det är lite hinnor och sånt. Skrapa okay. Oj. Och det här det går inte sönder när jag så. Nej, det, där, det ska bort liksom, det är lugnt. Vad är det för djur? Det är gjort. Okej. Okay. Lovgjort. Så fallow deer. Mm-hmm. Vad, vad gör du med huden? Okej, okay, tack. Så... Hur, hur lång tid tar det att göra så här med ett helt skinn? Det beror på hur snabb man är, men jag räknar med en halvtimme för minst för att göra hela den sidan. Mm. Sen ska man ju lägga det i blöt som sagt. Uh, vi har några skinn som ligger i blöt som man kan få testa. Och... Mm. This is another part of the, the high tanning gym. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Other muscles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ja. Det är nog man gör det här. Ja, man ska dra ganska hårt. Du kan använda kroppsvikt luta bakåt liksom. You do a little bit with your hands also, right? 
Yeah, pull a little bit. Laura. What? Please listen to yourself now. Oh, for sake, I don't even want to talk anymore right now. Really, I don't. Take everything. I don't want anymore. Thank you. Please, control your feelings. And they're hiding. Look. And he's a call, what? Red, gul, trumpet, swamp. Trumpet, uh... Red, gold, trumpet, swamp. Red, yellow, trumpet, mushroom. Yeah, and here. Look, they're hiding. Mm, they're hiding. Oi. And they have to be hollow inside, you said. Yeah, the footsie is hollow and yellow. Mm -hmm. You can see here. Um, it, it looks like uh, they have osar underneath. Gills? Yeah. No. And it has a different color. And then it's like this on the top. Mm -hmm. I can't find the right words for it now. I just found a cauliflower mushroom. This type of mushroom is edible and it only grows, apparently, according to my wife, on the feet of a scotchbine or tal in Swedish. Hey, here we found another one. This one's called? Kaljuan. Kaljuan. <laughs> Good for soups? Awesome for soups. Or fry. But the rule is never eat mushrooms unless you three, four, five, six times sure of what you're doing. A thousand times sure. A thousand, thousand times sure. Are you a pro? No, I'm not a pro yet. Yes, you are. But I do know some stuff. She's a humble pro. Have you guys swum? Beatrice. I think we should go for a swim. Yeah, you know it. How's the water? Thirty Celsius today. Chanterelle also. Mm -hmm. You guys find anything? Did you find something? She's such a goofy. No, she's going to step all over the mushroom. Okay, right or forward or backward? What do you think? Sweet. Should be yummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all over here. Mm -hmm. Maya's eating blueberries too. We should make a blueberry pie. Let's Look. camp. Maya. Hey. Blueberries. Yum yum. She likes Boy, to pick them like herself. It. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> that is so cool. Are you a bear? That's awesome. <laughs> She's very gentle. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. get the shits, the bear shits. Then we can get the shits together, cause then I'm gonna eat blueberries too. <clears throat> is it lingo? Or is it poisonous? No, it's lingo. Look. It's lingo. You wanna make a pie with it? With lingo? Hmm? Nah. Is it horrible? She's lingon too? No, she's eating blueberries. I prefer blueberries to be honest. Me too. And raspberries, but my, my favorite is the smultron. The animal trail here. No. Massive ant hill. Wow. If I stand still, they start crawling on me. <laughs> it's, true. Like... it's true. But look over here. <laughs> it's true, it's like they do. But look, all of this is an intel. Yeah, it's this massive. Hey, mushroom is we come. Those are the Viking mushrooms, right? Yeah. If you want to go crazy. That's what they say, but maybe not. Okay, maybe not a bunch, but they look super nice. <laughs> Whoa! Look how nice! That's huge. They're all over here. They're huge. Look super fresh. Yeah, they do actually. <laughs> I get so happy when I find something. Well, they look good. They look super good. Watch out, babe. Oh, you stepped right on one. Yeah, get loose. Be careful. Oi, they're behind you! Lots! They look really fresh. There's some more. Mmm. Mmm, super fresh. Oi, I dropped one. Whoa! Massive. Can you see the size of that? Yeah, you, you can clean them. Whoa! Look at the size of that thing! That's a whole meal! That's pretty big. It's huge! Okay, when we find one, there's always more hiding somewhere. So we just have to find them now so we don't crush them. Go. Oi! There's more down here. But the, the rocks look so pretty, like that one. It looks like it's scoped by somebody. It's amazing how the stream changes. Yeah. I found about four kilos of mushrooms. Cantarelle and threat cantarelle. And some trumpets. And some trumpets. And now we're gonna cook them. See my chopping board is working. 
need to straighten the bottom though. It's rocking a lot. before if I was doing this the whole thing would go like that because this branch had a lump here which was causing it to rock a lot Basically a stew, very very nutritious. So I picked up some trat cantarelle. It's a different type of chanterelle. I do not know the Latin name for it. So if anyone knows, just post it on the comments below. That'll be helpful. What I'm doing now is just ripping them in halves here in the stem. The stem is hollow. Checking for snail eggs and just triple checking yet again that I didn't pick anything poisonous. Chop some of these. This is going to add a wonderful flavor to my stew. I'm not claiming to be a mushroom expert at all. My wife knows a lot about mushrooms and she has taught me a bunch. But I would not dare to go with a little book into a forest and try to pick mushrooms you know it's much better to find someone actually that knows what they're doing and going with them because it's very easily it's very easy to make a mistake that could be fatal Okay, they're pretty much done now as you can see they shrink a lot once they lose all the water but again it's not about the amount you know it doesn't take a lot to get a lot of flavor out of these mushrooms it smells wonderful I wish you could smell this and taste it maybe someday who knows huh Dinner is served. Okay, I 
have this rice to go with it. Bits of reindeer meat with some rice for my friend over here. You starving? Enjoy. acorns. I'd like to connect an effigy to make some flour with it. This used to be a main staple food in Europe many 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 years ago. But because you have to process all the tannins out of this uh, seed it takes a lot of work and I guess people just moved on to wheat because of that. You like potatoes too, mister? You love them. Beautiful day. Got a duck. Come, Pips.
some more. Let me try mine now. Oh yeah. I tell you what, I think this idea here works. Look at that. You see the action? It just goes right through it and choom! And here, if I do that type of cut, you can see it gets a little stuck. See, it's that that gets stuck like so. But you're supposed to use it like this. But I find it easier to just pull it like so. Works like a beauty. So much easier than with a knife going like this. I don't know why. Feels a little bit safer also, more controlled. I guess it can't really go further than this because I'm locking here with my elbow. Whilst a cup like that, it just feels a little bit out of control even though it is most of the time controlled. And this is no effort whatsoever. You barely have to put any strength. And this little crooked part can be used to dig spoons also, like so. So it's two in one, a draw knife and a spoon knife. See? You get lots of material. I think the rough is already here. I mean, the rough cut. I'm going to take this back to camp and finish it there. Cooking spoon. Just want to show you how easy it is to debark something.
get a lot of control with this. And it eats wood really well, look at that. I haven't sharpened this since I made it. It's still cutting really well. Could use a little polish. seconds and it's a lot more practical than using a sawhorse to be honest of course the sawhorse is great when you have to do pieces that you can't hold with both hands but for small pieces this is a lot a lot better you ready to go you're bored huh you want a spoon? <laughs>